Hi, I'm Peter McHale with Instructional Fitness here with a special guest on the set of Minko, Mike O'Hearn. Mike is a very difficult man to talk about because he's done so much. He started off as a bodybuilder. You won the Natural Mr. Universe four times. You've done uh, American Gladiators and now you're breaking into acting. So let's start from the beginning. You know, how exactly did you get into bodybuilding? Yeah, I started bodybuilding when I was about, uh, I would say about nine or 10. Um, my brothers and sisters all did it and I, I followed in their footsteps. It's one of those fun things. Yeah. I had to do it because uh, they were both kicking my ass. <laughs> nice. And you made a really conscious decision early on to go the natural route, not, uh, you know. No. Yeah, I mean, I, I, at that age, you don't even know. I sure didn't know. I didn't know it until I got about 18 years old, then I realized there's a thing called uh, drugs and steroids and all that. And by then I was like, I don't, I don't get it, you know. Whatever you put on, you don't get to keep, so why would you do it? Right. So. Well, that's great. And and you would go on later to win natural universe. Four natural times. titles, yeah, four times. I got a little selfish, huh? Yeah. yeah I don't little... know why. I guess I got bored and just said, you know what, I'll go back again. Yeah, it's a little greedy, but okay. <laughs> and, so, and so from bodybuilding, you kind of transitioned to other things, and you, you became more of an athlete, especially with the American Gladiators stuff. Well, uh, the Gladiators is like the second or third time now for me. I was on the original show uh, back in the uh, mid-90s, and then I did another show called uh, Battle Dome, which is similar to American Gladiators, except a little bit more violent. We were a little bit more abusive. And then uh, the latest season, the new uh, generation of American Gladiators came back, and uh, we had fun doing it. And how did you get to be the team captain of... Uh, well, it's one of those things. I went in, and everybody kind of went in with their own spiel. And I went in going, I've been here before. I'm going to teach these guys how to do it, you know, and what to do and watch out and how to play the games, how to be right. And, uh, you know, just uh, that was the whole mentality of when I, when I saw that it was coming back and I wanted to help a good team. That's great. Because, you know, the, the original show, like Dan Clark and those guys, those guys were great with me. I was the rookie, you know, the alternate. And so those guys were like the coaches to me. So it's like I wanted to pass on what they taught to uh, the new generation. Oh, that's fantastic. And so we've now transitioned from gladiators into the world of acting. And uh... Yeah, now we're on set today. Barry Minko. Uh, it's a cool movie. Uh, the cast is uh, James Caan, Vin Rames, Bill Goldberg, and myself. But just uh, another, just Mark Hamill. Yeah. It's like, how cool is that? <laughs> Pretty damn cool. Luke Skywalker, yeah. you know? How do you like playing the bad guy? I like it. No, I like it. It's uh, I did Knight Rider and I got to play uh, Monster Molina, uh -huh. but it wasn't as uh, you know, it was a TV show, so it's only a couple minutes. Now this is a, you know a nice two-hour movie. I'm um, throughout the whole thing, so it's a it's a lot more fun. Now, acting is a very disciplined art, you know, and I know uh, bodybuilding is kind of the same way. You know, has the discipline of training and sculpting your body helped you transition into this world or uh, Jim Caviezel told me he says you don't go into a bodybuilding show you know never training and so it's the same thing for this it's uh, for me it's like I'm doing the classes staying in class learning the craft of uh, the acting and just learning this whole industry what this that's, is all about that's great and Jim Caviezel is a great guy yeah Jim's great yeah a great guy to learn from yeah so uh, uh, how did you start training with him uh, I didn't train with him but Jim was a friend from church, and uh, I met him years ago, and he's also a guy from Washington State. And we just, uh, we got to talking, and he just became friends. And I've seen his career has been incredible. Yeah, you know, definitely. And so it's, and, I, and when I do the classes, and people ask, well, don't do the classes so much. Why do you do so much? And it's like, it's that training. You gotta try different things. And I wanna be, I wanna be able to be an actor. I want to try other things that people say you can't do. Now, I know your weight fluctuates quite a bit. You know, sometimes you're bigger, sometimes you're leaner. You know, how exactly do you decide, you know, to be the way you are? Well, I got an addiction to power and strength. And I, I like the last two years, I won the West Coast Strongman. And I just, I love training. And uh, I think with the gladiators, I noticed that I kept dieting and dieting and staying in shape for the gladiators. And you just keep getting smaller and smaller the more you diet. And I never let the body relax. And the great thing here is I got to put all my weight and strength back on 
You know, I got up 290 pounds. Jeez. And so I get to play this character, you know, I'm standing next to Vin Rames and stuff, and now I'm the monster. So it's, it actually works out great for this movie, but for the next movie, I'll be all trim and slim. Okay, well, great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come out, and, and uh, hopefully you'll be writing some blogs for us soon. Well, uh, absolutely, so. absolutely. And then uh, I got to do a little choreography, a little fight scene. So you guys come on in and uh, film that if you want. I'd love to. All right, all right. let's rock it.